Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back my dear friends and dear students, a very good morning, uh, good afternoon and uh, good evening to all of you in wherever you are. And as you know this is the DADM which is data analysis and decision making course uh, 2 under the NPTEL MOOC series and this total course duration is basically for 12 weeks which is uh, 30 hours and 30 hours gets converted into 60 lectures each lecture being for half an hour. And each week we have uh, 5 lectures each for half an hour and we have already completed and you, as you can see from the slides we have completed 35 um, uh, lectures which is 7 weeks completed and 7 assignments. Uh, when you are going to take this, uh, um, this 36 lecture, uh, 7 assignments have already been completed by you. Now, in the last two lectures, um, two sets of lectures in the weeks, it was basically the topsis and the electra method, first the electra and then in the topsis method. Uh, this week, we will try to cover, uh, try to cover a little bit beforehand uh, within three, three and a half or about uh, lectures being uh, three and a half about the method of um, uh, Vicor method. And my good name is Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department at IIT Kanpur. Now, the concept of Vicor, Topsis, Electra, Macbeth, whatever methods you are going to consider, they are almost the same. It is basically either based on distance function, it is based on affinity, either based on concordance, liking, discordance, disliking. And obviously, here distance being that how far and how close they are with respect to your ideal solution, best solution, then the actual solutions they would be calculated and you will basically find out the ratios accordingly. If you remember that <coughs> in, um, in Electra and more so in TOPS as I mentioned that we are, when you are trying to find out the distance uh, for the with respect to the best ideal or best negative solution, best positive solution, best negative solution which is PIS and NIS, positive ideal solution and negative ideal solution. I kept mentioning that you will basically have four different um, uh, combinations of um, ranking, one one based on that how close it is to the PIS, second would be how far it is from the PIS, third case would be how close it is to NIS and the fourth case would be how far it is with respect to NIS. Now, technically it means that if it is closer to PIS, obviously it will give us an information that is further from NIS. So, obviously the first and the fourth, fourth ranking should be the same, but it is not so. As I mentioned that we are going to consider the concept of asymmetric functions and how they can be analyzed would be given uh, preference in the practical examples. And similarly, when you are considering that how far it is from PIS and then how close it is to NIS, obviously they should be same, but they are not. So, again they would be an asymmetricity in the ranking system in both the methods. So, technically we will have these four columns which I again mentioning closeness to PIS, then it will be f how far it is from PIS, third column would be basically how far it is from NIS and the fourth um, uh, or, oh, so it will be how close it is to an NIS and basically how far it is from NIS would be combined together. We will try to utilize some of this concept, but the distance measures would be changed. Now, distance concept I have discussed mention about Manhattan distance which is L1 norm, mention about L2 norm which is in Cartesian coordinates, mention about the L infinity norm, mention about Hamming distance, mention about Mahalanobish distance, those were in the two slides which were there. And I did mention about Bhattacharya distance and others, uh, other things I, I do not think so, I just mentioned it. So, these are different type of distance measures which are used, you can use the weighted, weighted concept also on the distance 
we will try to use the very simple case of L p norm and what is the L p norm? I will try to solve given actual values not for the problem for the y core give actual values how that L p norm can be calculated and also visualized if possible in, in maximum in the three dimension. You can at least understand in the two dimension case and the three, three dimension case, but in the higher dimension it not would, would not be possible. So, I will try to give a simple example before we solve the concept of y core. Now, this distance measures which I am going to mention would technically be applicable for say for example, for the topsis method, may be applicable for the magband method, whatever method. Maybe in this me measure when you are doing y core, given example will be make it much clearer to you, such that you can appreciate whatever we have covered in electra, whatever we have covered in topsis, whatever we have covered in HP even though HP did not consider the distance measure. But the point ranking system of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and correspondingly if it is further away and that means, you are get, getting some dis utility it would be 1 third, 1 fifth, 1 seventh, 1 ninth they can be judged accordingly with respect to the distance measure. And more affinity less affinity obviously, it is something to do with distance more affinity less affinity would also have something to do with utility function. So, they are not directly related, but there is definitely some huge amount of underlying relationship. Uh, or the con the concept wise with respect to distance, affinity, concordance, discordance concept, utility function and so on and so forth. So, let us start the Vicor method. The Vicor method is basically uh, this was developed in Europe uh, by during the work of, of the PhD work of Serafin Oprikovich in, in, in most probably in the 1990s and 2000. So, it, this is a multi criteria uh, optimization uh, based on compromise solution. So, you are trying to comprom compromise find a best compromise solution between the best and the worst. So, this is an MC, MCM technique as I said it was a part and parcel of the PhD work of one of the persons whose name is mentioned. So, Vicor method was introduced as one applicable technique which could be utilized within there are different types of MCDM techniques. Uh, it can be optimization, non-parametric, parametric methods. So, it is one of those methods and it is um, as developed as a multi-attribute decision method. So, here characteristics are important rather than uh, variability like in variability of mathematical function in order to denote the how good or how bad the optimization concept is. So, if you want to maximize f of x corresponding to some subject to some constraints, you will find out that the objective function has some decision variables, some constants, some maybe some deterministic one, some stochastic one and using the constraints, um, we find out the boundary area of the feasible solution and find try to find out the best feasible solution in that, in that feasible set of solutions in that feasible solution space which meets the criteria and gives you the optimized objective function. It can be maximization, minimization, a combination of maximization, minimization depending on the multi um, objective optimization ideas. Now, you in, in order to use this multi attribute, so attribute would be characteristics like it would be good, bad, red color, white color, it can be very cold, cold, warm, hot it can be based on marks, where marks are basically given side legs like say for example, you want to compare how good the bad the teacher was or how he has been or she has been able to deliver the lectures corresponding to the problems which have been solved in class. Then obviously, some ranking system can be utilized. So, in that ranking system you are basically being trying to basically be as subjective as possible. Um, with an objective view in the sense that you are giving some um, marks based on your, your idea of what the ranking should be. So, attributes are characteristics. So, it is a multi attribute decision making method to solve a district decision problem. So, district is that either you rank alternative A L greater than A K or you rank A K better than A L depending on, on different type of criteria which are which you have. 
So, in this decision making problem which have non commensurable or different units and conflicting criteria. So, units may be different some may be in liters, kgs, rupees, yens, dollars. So, the, the units are different there may be some numbers and you want to combine them in such a way that some parity is, uh, is there between the criteria such that comparison um, uh, or comparing the alternatives based on the criteria and then when you compare uh, the criteria among themselves becomes much easy. So, if you remember in uh, this Topsys method we had considered the um, criteria matrix which was based on the utility function if you remember and then we considered some um, weights. So, in, in the initial case the, uh, the priority matrix was basically m cross n where m is the number of alternatives, n is the number of uh, criteria. Then we had basically the matrix w capital W where the principal diagonals are given by weights w1 to wn. So, which means that is the size of n cross n where the of the diagonal elements are 0. So, this w1, w2 till wn are the corresponding weights you will assign to the criteria depending on what importance do you think the criteria have the final say in trying to help you make a decision for the alternatives. So, here the criteria are conflicting and the weights obviously would be conflicting um, correspondingly, but we will not be considering the weights immediately for this problem. In this method, Vicor method decision maker makes a solution that is closest uh, to the ideal solution. If you remember in the concept of concordance and discordance, what we considered was that how close the, um, the decision was and you basically had this, those values of j, j means 1 to n number of criteria which can be clubbed as a concordance at c or a discordance at d depending on concordance being the characteristics that how close it is and how, how like likings are similar and in the concept of discordance we considered that how dislikings um, basically plays an important factor. So, in this case we will consider the closest solution for the idol uh, and obviously the further solution would be the non idle one how far it is it is exactly like what we have done in the topsis method and hence the decision alternatives are evaluated compared ranked accordingly. So, you will consider the criteria and rank the alternatives which is A's 1 to M based on the criteria C's which is from 1 to N, M as in mango, N as in Nagpur. While ranking the decision alternatives rather than the best solution it is, is basically the target would be to find out the ideal solution which may not be most feasible. So, you have to basically find a compromise and a compromise would basically depend and what type of distance measures you are going to use. But rather than rather the closest one to that compromised best solution will be utilized. Maybe it is not possible to find out the best solution. Consider this when you have a, a dice uh, and uh, I am just giving a very simple example in order to make you understand that ideal solution or the best ideal solution may not be possible. So, consider you have a dice you are playing a lame game of Ludo and consider the dice is unbiased. So, the faces are 1 to 6. Now, when you basically roll them the numbers which are coming are all discrete numbers. So, 1 will come with a probability 1 sixth, 2 will come with a probability of 1 sixth, similarly 3 will come with a probability of 1 sixth, 4 will come with a probability of 1 sixth, similarly 5 and 6 will come with a probability of 1 sixth. Now, if I consider that and ask you the question that what is the expected value, what is the nor so called normal value which you will expect if you keep tossing this. So, what will your answer would be? Your answer would be you will basically multiply the corresponding realized values with the corresponding probabilities. So, it will be 1 into 1 6 plus 2 into 1 6 till the last value which is 6 into 1 6. So, it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 divided by 6. Now, the value which you have in many of the cases as in this case may not be the integer value which means the values which you have in front of you depending on the actual realized values which is the ideal solution which you are trying to aim is not feasible. So, in that case you will try to basically be pick a value as close as possible depending on the example which you have due to the expected value or the best ideal solution or the best plausible solution. 
So, we will try to utilize this same concept in the Vicor method. Now, we will basically de devote some uh, from few minutes about the comparison of the Vicor and the Topsys method and obviously, you will have similar comparison between the Vicor, Topsys, Vicor, Electra, Electra, Topsys and all this comparison can be done. So, two of the MCDM methods which is the Vicor and the Topsys are based on aggregate function that means, you aggregate the so called scores, scores are dependent on the closeness. So, if you remember we found out the C set, we found out the D set any any of the methods, then we found out the function which was basically the combination. So, S plus and S minus, S i plus and S i minus would be give you the closeness in the positive sense and the other would be the closeness in the negative sense, how far it is. And you will try to find out the ratios of S i minus divided by S i min minus plus S i plus that is one way and another can be S i plus in the numerator divided by S i plus plus and S i minus. So, when you are basically considering those, so they are basically aggregating, aggregating the, the characteristics of the functions which will represent the concept of closeness uh, of the solution to the ideal solution. So, closeness and for the, uh, how far it is basically would give you some concept. So, when you are considering the concordance, it will give you the closeness, when you are considering the discordance, it will give you how far it is. So, in Vicor we follow the non-linear normalization while in topsis it is a vector normalization. So, when you are trying to follow the, the normalization either along the column, along the row. So, we are basically trying to follow in the topsis method a vector normalization. Vector normalization can be based on the fact that what is the logarithmic utility function which you have, the quadratic utility function which you have, the power utility function which you have. Even though I did not discuss it in, in the problem solving, but I did mention it time and again. And in the Vicon method, we will use the linear normalization concept which would be just the simple concept of, of distance function. So, it can be say for example, if you have the matrix x which is the criteria values. So, you will basically have x i j divided by the sum of either the columns or the rows. So, if I am basically considering this, so you will basically have x which is a vector. x 1 1 x 1 n because you remember the number of rows and columns are accordingly x m 1 x m n and each of these a's which we will find out. So, consider no let me put the, the corresponding So, it will be like this, this will be A, 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 this is capital A, A and you have x which will be the normalized case. So, when I am picking the normalized case, it will be x 1 1, x 1 n, x m 1, x m n. So, any value which I have, I will write it using different color. So, if I have basically x i j, it will be a i j. Now, the summation which you are doing would be basically along the column. It is either this way, I am using just pictorial ways or another it will be along the rows. So, in this case when you are considering the rows or the columns remember I am just repeating it remember the normalization concept which are such that the sum should be 1. So, here just it is I did not divert, but I just want to mention that in the topsis the vector normalization depending on whichever method you used was applicable, but for the Weicker one we have the linear normalization depending on the distance. The use of normalization is used to eliminate the units of the criteria functions. So, you have different term units. So, if you remember that we are using the concepts of uh, can be weight, the liters, length. I am just giving a very simple example. So, it can be manpower, rupees, electricity, 
amount of water used. So, you will try to eliminate the, the difference in the units. So, you will eliminate the units of the criteria function and thus ensure a level playing field for the different criteria. So, such that when you find out the weightages or find out the effects of the criteria on the alternatives, so it will be the datum should be such that you can compare them and make a decisions accordingly. In Vicor, we determine a maximum group utility for the majority and a min minimum for of an individual regret for the opponent. So, basically you will have regret is basically something to do with the, the discordance. So, you will use the closeness set to basically group them uh, for those uh, criteria and the alternatives in such a way that how close they are positive benefit. And if you find out some of the criteria have negative effect on the, on the alternatives, you will group them and find out the disutility utility, which is in some way the discordance concept. In Topsis method a solution, Topsis means whatever we have done in the seventh week. In Topsis a solution with the short, shortest distance to the ideal solution and the greatest distance from the negative ideal solution is required to be found. So, PIS and NIS were being repeated time and again which I said. While doing this, we do not consider the relative importance of the distances. We just find out the positive and negative PIS and NIS, the distance. We do not give any weightages to them. So, we could add, attach, say for example, if the weightages as close they are, they would be given more weightages. Like say for example, you are doing the forecasting method. Forecasting method I did consider in a very simple way in DADM1. So, if you have the forecasting method and you are trying to find out that how good or bad the forecast is and you are doing say for example, exponential smoothing which means that closer it is. So, if you are basically predicting for t <coughs> using the data for t minus 1, t minus 2, t minus 3, then obviously more weightages would be given to t minus 1, a little bit less weightages to t minus 2 and so on and so forth. So, obviously here the weightages are in playing an, an important fact. So, in the similar way if you are, if you are doing the considering the distance functions as, as uh, being weighted, then obviously it will have a different implications that closer or further would have the weights. So, obviously you can have the weights in such a way that you want to basically ensure the sum of the weights should be 1 as we have done in the case of, of uh, forecasting method. So, assume now we will just go through the simple nomenclature. So, assume there are m decisions or alternatives. So, a, a 1, a 2, a 3 till a m, these are the suffix. Uh, while you have n attributes or, or uh, decision criteria or the goals uh, based on which you are trying to basically analyze the alternatives. So, they are given as c, j, j is equal to 1 to n and consider that the uh, functional form of what is the relationship between the jth attribute of the decision um, criteria or the goals with the ith alternative is given by that LP norm distance. So, obviously, if the third um, criteria with respect to the fourth alternative has some relationship that will be given the, by the distant functions and that will be based on the LP norm. So, obviously, we know that we can change the distant function of L1, L2, L3, L infinity norm based on what is the importance you want to place on the concept of distance affinity characteristics. So, we will consider the L infinity norm. So, what we do? We will give some weightages. Now, these weightages would be given later. I will come to this later on. They have something to do with the concept of the weightages uh, matrix n cross n, which we consider. So, if you can remember here those n cross n. So, I will also highlight it here. So, this M w j actually this means I should use a different color. So, it will be easier. So, this w j which is there. So, if I use this, so this will mean I have w 1 till w n because j is equal to changing from 1 to n. Now, let us look at uh, the concept of the relationship. So, what, what is actually being done? If you look at this, um, wait, wait. If you look at, look at this function, this is a general function, it means that when I am trying to find out the characteristics, it does not give the difference between the alternatives based on a criteria, remember that. 
So, what I am taking is that for any alternative based on any criteria, what is the overall weightages or the um, not weightages, the, um, the so those so called um, uh, the criteria's weightages you will give based on the alternative. So, as A changes, so consider for A1, you have if the function is basically C1 A1 that is for the first criteria and the first alternative that will give me so called the criteria's characteristics in the positive or the negative sense which will come out when you are trying to analyze alternative 1. Similarly, C1 A2 would give me the characteristics of what is the weightages in the positive sense and negative sense which criteria 1 would have on alternative 2. Similarly, C1 A3, C1 A4 till the last one which is C1 A M. When you go to the, the next criteria, it will be C2 A1. I am 2 and 1, all, all these numeric values which I am stating are in the suffix uh, position. C2 A1, C2 A2, C2 A3 till C2 A M. Similarly, you will have C3 A1, C3 A2 till C3 A M. And the last will be C N A1, C N A2 till the last one which is C N A1, A M. So, once you have that, you will basically try to find out the maximum of the minimum. Now, here where the, so the actual concept comes. So, say for example, I am trying to I will use colors differently. So, positive I will use the green color and negative I will use the uh, red color. I will already highlight them and then basically discuss it accordingly. So, when you are trying to find out the maximum of CJAI for all the i's, so of for, so, for f keep fixed j as 3, say for example, and I find out the functional form of C3 A1 till C3 A M and find out the maximum of that. So, I will basically place it for that jth criteria, what is the maximum for which alternative is coming. Similarly, when I change j is equal to 4, j is equal to 5, j is equal to 6 till I go to j in n, I find out the maximum corresponding to j's. I find out the maximum for each and every alternative market. So, this will give me all the positive concepts. Then when I go to the negative one, again I take the same row or the same column wherever, however you have basically able to define those concepts of C's and A's, I take the minimum. So, once I have the minimum and the ma maximum, it means that for that particular criteria, what is the maximum concept which I am getting and what is the minimum concept which I am getting. And basically, I will weight them with the functional form that what is the weightages for those criteria which I have. Now, if you, if you remember, these weights are exactly the weights which you have considered for W. So, W, the principal diagram was from W1 to Wn and the of the diagonal element was 0. So, these are the basically the importance which you are going to assign for the, the criteria. So, once you have them, you try to find out the corresponding um, LP norm for that based on the fact that you are taking the, the distance function as L, uh, LP norm, find them out the values for each and every um, cons corresponding concept of the criteria. So, for W1, you will basically multiply the weights in the numerator as W1 and find out the ratio. Then you do it for W2, W3 till WN, uh, that means from J is equal to 1 to N, add them up. And then when you find use the concept of LP norm, you will basically have the that so called weightages of the distance based on which you can rank them. So, with this I will end the, the first lecture for the 8th week and considering the more dis discussion about the Vicor method in the last 4 lectures. But one thing I will try to do is that in this, um, in this Vicor method, I will try to give an example initially for the distance measures within the very simple concept of the two dimension and the three dimension one, which I did mention when I started the class and then take up the simple example of the Y code, so that it will be much easier for you to understand and I appreciate that as you change the linearity of the functional form, because if you remember in Y code method, it was mentioned when you are trying to compare the topses in the Y code method, I mentioned that Y code method is a linear normalization while topsis method is vector normalization. So, we will try to basically use different type of linear functions and try to make a, a one to one correspondence that how you change the linear functions, you will get different results. So, thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Thank you very much.